So Project CD Red is in even more trouble. They continue to get in more trouble. Investors of Project CD Red are considering to file a lawsuit over Cyberpunk 2077. Yep, a lawsuit. Okay, and yes, the fans of Cyberpunk 2077 can defend this game all they want. Oh, but the game's good on PC. The game, yeah, the game is good on PC. But not everybody owns a PC, and that's what the people who played the game on PC can't seem to understand. That not everybody owns a PC. Not everybody owns a PC as a whole. You know, everybody's people own Xbox One and PS4, okay? And some people are saying that actually one's pretty okay on the PS5 and Series X. But not everybody owns a PS5 or Series X. And not everybody can have access or can even afford one because of the virus. Because, you know, they sort of just delayed those consoles first place. But, yeah, they sort of just delayed this game. Or at least the console versions of this game. So the console version can run correctly. You didn't need to do a the PC version. The PC version, according to many people, worked just fine. But there's still still tons of bugs and glitches. But the fact that now there's a lawsuit over this game, and again, Cyberpunk fans are going to ignore this and say, "Oh, there's nothing bad happening. They, you know, nothing bad actually happened with this game." Okay. The fact that people had to wait seven years and people who play on consoles that got screwed over was an absolutely horrendous. And Cyberpunk fans can dislike this video all they want. They can dislike this video all they want, but I'll speak to any person who played the game on a console, and they can tell you that the game is horrible, it's basically like Sonic 06.2. Basically a game that was launched with so many glitches and bugs that the game is practically unplayable. But at least Sonic 06, that game didn't ever get fixed, but this game, will pro they said the game will be fixed by February. We'll see if it actually will be fixed because, yep, it probably won't be. And the scars of this one are going to, you know, really suffer. Like Batman Arkham Knight had like a four, 0 0.4 on Metacritic for the longest of time. And then we had a real reason. We worked the game and now the game works. And now the game got a 3.5. Okay, it's going to take years or even decades for the game to get actually a good score because the scar... That the game, the boss wants, is still there. Same thing with Battlefront 2. I think the scores of that game has actually improved. So you have your Battlefront 2. With a PF. The PS4 version. You have at 1.9. 1.5. Okay. Yo. Most of the reviews are from the first. From the beginning when the game came out. Oh wait, I don't want to log in too many quick. Please don't tell me I have to log in now to see all the user reviews. Here, user reviews, okay? Nobody cares what the critics think anymore, okay? But by date... You know? And yeah, there's still a lot of bad reviews, okay? You know? But the game, they fixed the game, and now the game has good reviews. And yep, there we go, Cyberpunk. You had another box once, and you have to pay the price for it. Goodbye.